Welcome back to the Bases Loaded. This is Lucas, and we're back to off. Um, this is a new session, so um, you'll see what's uh, what's going on here and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's actually been a while since I was on here, so I don't remember exactly what was going on. Um, hey, 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 hey. Cool! Spectres in the park! Yeah, I remember now. Okay, yeah, so I got the um, the guy's face, and uh, I need to put it in the face hole. Um, no. Maybe it was up here. It was not there. Maybe it's by the roller coaster. Is it up top? I don't think it is. A little bit of, uh, Laurie Anderson action going on there. Yeah, I saw this guy and I ignored him. This is the boss's office. I can't let you enter unless maybe you know him personally. But, uh, without proof, I, I, I can't. I might get in trouble. I don't know, I don't even have to hand it over. Is that a photo of the boss, and you're next to him? Oh, on a roller coaster! But that's terribly dangerous. Well, at any rate, I guess you're a friend of the boss. You may enter. Real good security checks. Y you shouldn't ride on roller coasters. Who knows what can happen? You might get, like, a statue that sits next to you and make a fake picture, and then a guy lets you into the boss's office, and you can steal all of his zodiacal orbs. Oh, wait. Thanks, buddy. Inspiration? Or wait, no, that's determination. So... I guess that was actually just bonus town. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Excellent. I thought, like, hey, that could be, um... You know, the way to progress the plot. I, did I miss anything in here? I gotta look again. There's... There is not a thing in here. So... Does that mean I have to go to confusing shopping mall town again? Because that seems like that was where the plot was going. Unless maybe now I can go somewhere else in the place. I could also talk to the guy and see how he reacts to me having a picture with his statue. Why don't we do that in case that's not what we're supposed to do? Here we are. So I did that in the most faffing way possible. <laughs> Sup. Buenos dias, dear Trident Moon Sad Face. Yeah, I'm not actually gonna try selling it. So, um... Oh, that's fun. You can just kind of loop infinitely by holding down. Because down becomes up. Solved the puzzle here. I thought I reduced that sound, and that, like, made me feel the bad kind of excitement. That kind of, like, you feel it in your chest and it's just no good. This is, uh, this is a high faff episode. Not, uh, not good for your health, you know. Um, could use uh, maybe some Olestra instead, but be cautious with that, because if you use too much, it makes you poop. And uh, you don't want to poop too much, you know. Too much pooping. Um, it's not fun. Got posters on the wall. My favorite rock group, Kiss. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris. Waiting there for me. Yes, I do. Don't really... Oh, hi there! You must be Moby Dick. I must say, though, uh, rather questionable shopping mall design. Or storage room, whatever it is. Um, just not uh, not the most architecturally sound. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, he, he might come in here, he might have a problem with it. 
Now, this is an appropriate uh, game for this channel, though, because it's called The Base is Loaded, and there's a guy who plays with the bat, and that's what you play in the base game. Because when you can't there, it's a good idea to hear. Run with Grace. You can introduce uh, Ernest Hemingway there. Um, although I prefer the Rush album with the Grace Under Pressure thing. One eternity later. Fuck it, I'm going to the internet. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Or maybe going to the, uh, the Read Me. Can one go to Alma? You bet. Oh, it's not even on screen. Alright, let's look at this together. I don't understand what's happening in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no start button. Whistle twice to unlock the secret ending. Yes, that is what I want. Or oh, you can see some of the things in my watch later list. I this one I already watched. Um, uh, it's just a funny thumbnail. Um, yeah, I uh, I'm a fan of the Young Turks. Uh, this guy's a friend of mine. Um, this just sounded like it might be interesting. I have no clue. Um, I'll get to that sometime later. Okay, internet. Oh, motherfucker. Although it did say something about going to unproductive. What do you mean you can't translate French? Come on, Google. Yep, so this one is from the uh, defunct page, so haha, -ha, got it. Oh. I didn't. Th I thought we were in Alma, though, not Bismarck. One screens, two. It just keeps going. It said rest. Minwu Tunic. All right. Oh well, that was nice of it. All right. So gotta go to the residential area. Yeah, I want to go see that damn sign. Does it actually call it Bismarck? Yes. But it's at the top. You're not paying attention to that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, screw you. You don't want to wear your tie there. And you're going to wear it in the bathroom. So you better wear it. Yes, I can put on my tie here. Good idea. Uh-huh. 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 This looks kind of like, uh, almost, uh, some places MC Escher designed. I mean, considering we had a place that looped. I don't remember his voice! Damn it! Like, the good guy, you know, you know had, uh... I just use the same voice, whatever. There's still time to repent of your omissions, ungrateful wretches. Crave my pardon immediately, or I will send you back to the limbo this instant. Did you hear something? Poor Cretans, I am here right in front of you, ready to send you to hell. So, are you ready to apologize to your father and protector, you band of wimps? There's nothing but an old cat up there. Could be a dangerous cat, it has sharp claws. Yes, and it can spread disease. Have you heard the story of a guy who got scratched by a cat? Aarg! I hate you, I hate you all! But where's that voice coming from? Must be someone who's in a bad mood. Yes, he should relax and take the time to relax and enjoy this place so flat and quiet and take the time to relax. Here we're safe. But that was me! It was I who made it all like that for you! Are you so blinded by your pathetic fear of living? This is all rather strange, isn't it? That is it! I'm going to teach you to respect me! Ho <laughs> ho! Let us casually wander about. Let's purge these impure beasts and fast. Shit. 
Oh, hey. He is new. Okay, then. That's interesting. Dramatic music doing nothing very much Just sitting here and bumping, bumping Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dramatic music is getting kind of loud Come on something like, alright, so what happens if I run out of time? Do I have to go through all this shit again? And again, because the battles last so fucking long, you don't remember where you're going or where you've been. It just goes way faster. Do you think I'm on the right track? Uh... With going into places Batman's doing now. Too. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. The Joker, the Toker, Steve Miller. All the phantoms have been purified. Be sure to use an air filter. I've purified this place, but this zone has not yet been freed of its true pest. Where can I find Jaffet? Jaffet? Who's Jaffet? The cat who directs the specters. Uh, the cat? I don't know. Anyway, we thank you for helping us, but, uh, I think, Jaff... My bat? Yes, your bat's an awfully dangerous object. I'll have to ask you to leave the residential area and give us your tie. You should understand, of course, it's a measure of security. Yeah, so you can't get those if you don't do it during the timeline. Well, screw you, game, I'm not doing it. I am embarrassed, I admit, but it appears that I need you and your puppet's purifying intentions, dear trident, crescent moon, sad face. Valerie, my beloved brother, appears to have fallen off the rails of consciousness and into the depths of uncontrollable madness. He calls himself Jafet, and, in addition to being the royal agent he has never been, proclaims himself chief of the specters. Two roles he has usurped, no doubt. Nobody in this world, I can assure you, has any control over the ectoplasms. Except perhaps the Queen, but I have yet to find any concrete evidence or testimony to prove this hypothesis. Anyway, Valerie is settled on the roof of the library, and although I suppose this could have just been a coincidence, it seems that ghosts are swarming the corridors of the same building. I believe this is a perfect mission for you, full of all that gratuitous violence which you seem to revel with glee. Okay, I'll go to the library. I will follow you. 
So, cat's up my butt, but he's not in my party. Can't party time with the cat. No, sir, Bob. Back to the library. Library. Guys, got anything else to say? Yep, and everybody else is like back to normal. Alright, so I've been all over this place, been all these places, and, and here's a save place to save your game, be obsessive, do it, do it every time, save the game, make some fries. Hey, boop a doop, we can get up there. Drawing from his waning forces, he created the library more beautiful than ever before. Its height pierced the smoky clouds, and there he stood. Oh, I wonder if this is another pose, like... No. Well, whatever. Don't know what was up with that, but now find out more information. And it takes so long to get through that text. Much like a guardian angel, he had done everything for them. He had brought them peace, security, and entertainment. Such was his generosity. For a while, that was all good and well for all. They enjoyed the new land with the innocence of a child. They were running down the streets, enjoying. I do wonder if, like, it's actually split up so you can read it in different ways. But the dynamics of the world soon drove the people mad. They forgot about their joys and eventually succumbed to their neurosis and fear and worries. They weren't. Meanwhile, the flaming winged sovereign weeped on his throne, their joys saddened to have been forgotten by man. He had no more time for their worries. You have to wait for your turn in battle. You have to wait for the victory text to read out. And so the flaming bird turned into a cat, and the cat into a ruler. Driven insane by his anger and sadness, he summoned forth a storm of evil spirits upon his subjects. His madness had bloobity blabity blip. While the specters were destroying the world he had created, he sought help. Dur. It's, it's probably shelter at the summit of his most wonderful creation, the Great Library. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. There is nothing else to be done but wait for the man who would rise forth to destroy him. For deep inside his soul, there was no doubt that he was evil. The end. I was probably supposed to take note of those damn numbers. I'm sorry, no. Yeah, so it's telling you, like, first one is this, second one is that, all that crap. 499 Oh, I see what happened. 716 Four, zero. Yeah, I was thinking like, oh, it'll be a C button or something. Alright, well, this is probably a good place to break the episode, because the building is drooling, and uh, Zachary or a statue of him is there. So, this has been The Bases Loaded with um, a riveting episode of Off. Um... Please beware of FAF content. Might need to exercise after this one.